Yes, indeed, stock car racing is magic. However, tonight it's banger racing all the way. We are very much looking forward to it. The headline of the night, Lady Banger Gold Roof Championship. Third race on the car. Junior Bangers up first in heat number one. We've got two litre bangers in the start of their world qualifying process and the 1500 in their last round before their national championship here in December. Right, here we go then, mothers and riders. Oh, uh, final one, on Murray Hall, one of most favourite Lego man. 478, more than made the boss, then it's Archie Hall and all. Harry uh, Shaw off from the running to the middle with that one straight off the bat and then Carson Patchett and then William Cartwright so Kane Johnson to the middle and it's Oscar Preston who gets in front in the early doors of this one so uh, off he goes good turn of speed for Oscar Preston as well he hopes straight away for that flying through the field up into third and uh, going to be a difficult man to catch isn't he if he carries on like this goodness me the yellow grader making light work of this Highly uh, talented field and already up into second and he's often pursued the Oscar Preston who uh, already seems to be a single target for Riley Cone for that. Right Spears then makes his way up into third. Oh, wide running stuff there from 420 with Chris Merkin who is uh, coming to the end of his junior banger career. 41 Archie Forward certainly has been very impressive. 17 Green right now uh, proves to be a bit of an obstacle on the square bend as up on the inside as uh, Oscar Preston gets it a little bit out of shape down there and Riley Holmes hits the front Spears then in 475 Archie Spears about to challenge for second spot we'll have to go uh, a little further way back then and straight down for five on Murray Hall who sits there in four then it's Hunter and forward then we've got uh, Merkin and Bailey as Matt and Arnold pulls off to the centre of the track with that one Ryan Preston then gets him back in line behind Spears Spears and is set off in pursuit, hasn't given the battle for second place, but the battle for first seems to be sewn up. Joey Holmes will be over the moon with this one as young lads, Riley Holmes, absolute quiet. Archie Hallward about to challenge Hunter. So, second Spears, quite close, it's some one free Preston, then it's Hunter, Port Hallward, and Lego Man Hall. Oh, Bailey again, uh, getting all that sauce down there, off to the infield, takes the swipe of Johnson as he goes, 420 Merkin, going very slow, on the outside of that one, seems to be issues with that car, right then, as we uh, continue to roll on, uh, the race leader, Riley Holmes, goodness me, is absolutely hacking up around here at the Adrian Foot Serena, Fox and Five Spears, Preston still going further, Hall is starting to get the grips of things around here, he's known to have had the top threes in his uh, short career so far, and he gets through, Hunter's going well on his debut round here, but it's Holmes absolutely flying round, Spears forward, Preston, Hunter, then Murray Hall, and uh, we're a long way back, uh, no one else really getting into this one at all, three to go next time Mr Starter, three to go next time, and to be honest with you, Riley Holmes could potentially get out of all rounds, uh, leading the way. Spears though, very good performance from him and Horwood also in the hot pursuit. Preston uh, showing some good form up there in fourth at the moment as uh, Murray Hall gets on the inside of Hamza who has been very impressive so far on his debut. Johnson coming round the track, still getting that car round nicely and uh, off goes Curtis Merkin from the running in this one. Right back through the cover, Mr Starr. It's uh, Holmes out in the lead. Doesn't have to do anything silly in this one. Spears though, however, must be uh, feeling the pressure from Ward and is starting to find his feet in this one. And he's up there in third. So a great little battle could be uh, about to happen for the second place. But in the meantime, back comes our leader. One lap to go for Riley Holmes. Come the right. Here's the battle that we want the eyes to be fixed on. Spears and Ward. Who is going to get that second place? They've got the planning by Free Johnson. On the uh, back straight, that could be a bit of an issue, especially for Ward, who's got to have a challenge if he wants to make it stick, gets tagged by uh, the back marking of Johnson, who uh, have to settle for third, but a great effort, that's for sure. Holmes, Spears, forward, long way.
way back to four for Pickensbury Hall. In the end, in far far one, but they were a long way down. Hamza and Preston coming through. Shaw gets back involved as well. Uh, certainly a good second half of the race for him as a veteran making their way through. Uh, but this is the start of the race winner. There we go. Red flags, please. Red flags, please. Phil Jackson out there on the right side, and here we go, he takes it through the time, the smoke billows as we uh, get rolling, oh goodness me, Craig Keeley uh, gets a little bit of uh, bother down there, oh it's going to be Reds please Mr Starler, Reds please, on the right side, Reds please. Stokes uh, towards the back of the pack, Simon Smith, uh, a uh, very noble absentee down there. Oh, uh, kind of Osborne, maybe with a little bit of uh, something on down there, on to uh, young Virgin down there, who starts to back up Jamie Brown and trying to get down the outside of that one. In the meantime, we head back to the front of the fairs, and through they come then, Mr. Starr, Barry Wright, these way, oh, and uh, through we go, as loud as all our sorts again, takes one or two with him. Hilda and 227 Taylor, 44 Alfie Hill also a casualty down there and a big shot from 4 to 8 and that's uh, Nick Asbridge who gets blown up in turn by 8 to 8 Jordan Sharp so we continue to come back towards us Reds please Mr Sala, Reds please Mr Sala, Reds please uh, Wheel on track there, wheel on track, so we'll get back and the orders very, very shortly. Dave Watson, Simon Hilden, and then it's uh, Simon. Oh, goodness me! Covington gets put into the 428 uh, car down there of Nick Ashbridge. That's two circulating, and Simon Smith and Ashley Stokes. Right, so back to the front we go. Oh, down the back straight. We've got Barry Wright stranded down there. He's uh, crabbing along, and look at this, McMullen all over. The uh, younger Reggie Turnbull as Barry Wright pulls to the middle and George Hill gets wound out down there and we roll on with uh, McMullen about to be uh, oh no look at this look 
is this uh, Aston Gibbons coming through the field? Uh, Reggie Turnbull in behind that as Darren Bitson gets wound out into the Cunnington car. Bartram now all over the back of Barton. Yeah. Right, uh, 27 McMullen. 19 Turnbull, uh, Aston Gibbons uh, uh, trying to find some pace to get back past Turnbull but can't quite tag him that time around, Bartram all over the back of Callum Barham as Brett Jackson is now starting to feature in the race and now uh, looks to join in with that battle for second place Gibbons just about gets up the inside of Turnbull as Jackson comes in once again with the bumpers and we continue to push on right, the rain is now starting to fall and this can make things a little bit tricky for these drivers as here we go, back towards us comes Danny McMullen 495, Aston Gibbons 551, Brett Jackson 19, Reggie Turnbull Joel Allen now starting to get involved 69 back, Brad back, back, Bartram not too far out of it as Aston Gibbons tries to put Brett Jackson off and uh, continues on to second place but uh, some of these are now starting to struggle as the rain falls and 27 but Mullen still leads three next time Mr Starter as Aston Gibbons gets high into the grippy area and has actually started to make some good ground here he seems to have got the right attitude and the right to oh and now gets involved down there and McMullen overcooks it Brick Jackson gets up the inside McMullen winds uh, Gibbons out to the fence and now Jackson inherits the first place right Gibbons gets the right idea again gets high into the grip can he make it stick this time look at him featuring back in McMullen pulls to the infield and now Gibbons starts to apply the pressure to Brett Jackson he's on his back bumper as Brett Bartram joins in Reggie Turnbull certainly not ours as yet as we continue to roll on 551 Brett Jackson up on the inside here we go 257 Tommy Wright is turning around is he going to be he has he stopped Aston Gibbons on the nose but Brad Bartram has gone on the inside Reggie Turnbull is going for it as well so Bartram up to the fence oh, 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 Jackson is trying to get hold of Turnbull it's one to go here we go Bartram then leading away Tommy Wright is still sat there is he got a bit in him he tries to have a go he's nothing in him as uh, Bartram then continues to roll on Reggie Turnbull for second 5-5-1 Brett Jackson the goal Tommy Wright still looking for somebody Reggie Turnbull has one last go can't make it stick and three comes Brad Bartram takes victory and a highly entertaining finish to our 1500 in heat number one Aston Gibbons had turned round on the middle looking for a bit of revenge but just didn't get going and uh, the rest of them roll their way through and well done to Brad Bartram in that one a really cracking finish and of course uh, superb stuff from our young gun Reggie Turnbull there we go Mr Starter Let's get a roll in, Mr. Starter. Gavin Goddard uh, for one night only. Right, we're well, off and running then with uh, heat number two for the Junior Bangers. Right, uh, one or two uh, antics down there. Let's see if we can get uh, slapped wide by 78 Lee Macy, but they're both get back involved and we are away and running and once again Oscar Preston making a very impressive start so Johnson, Kane Johnson getting battered about a bit as uh, in they come Baldry the next one in long got a couple of spinners down there Lincoln Douglas over there one of our uh, levelers down there as 707 Nottingham gets wound round 
as well takes one of the Merkins with Shane Merkin out of uh, the running in at that one. Right, we'll get back towards it then. Oh, Murray Hall out wide and uh, coming to us. Grinding Hall down there. Oh, and in we go then. Uh, could be track blockage time, but uh, one or two getting moved out of the way. And it's 7 1 3. Oscar Presley leading the way. 3 2 9. Jaden Carr. 4 7 8 is uh, Morgan Bailey. 190. Riley Holmes is in uh, the mix of it as well. Lexi Finney going well in this one as well. Kane Johnson still crabbing round. Uh, the inside of the track. Oscar Preston now building up quite a decent lead. Jaden Carter trying to pick his way through the traffic as uh, Pratchett goes into Murray Hall. 7 11 crashes out as well. One or two more victims in that one as well. As oh, goodness me, Brendan Flat as Jaden Carter get caught up down there. Morgan Bailey goes in over the front wheel as well. And uh, here comes uh, the rest of the pack picking their way through. Riley Holmes along with four, number five, Lexi Finney. Oh, and uh, Baldry goes into the back of Jaden Carter down there. Here's uh, picking way through, Lincoln Douglas back in hold as well. Morgan Bailey sets back up, but finds himself a lap down uh, near enough now on our race leader, 713, Austin Preston. Who uh, long way back to second place, 190, Riley Holmes, 455, Lexi Finney shows up next. Merkin is having a good run round as well, Reese Parrott. He's there. So here we go then. Oscar Preston leading the way, Mr. Star. Oscar Preston in 713 over on the far side. There he is, 713 leading second place. It's a long way back to 190. Riley Holmes. Third place, 455. Ricky Finney. So back towards as they come. There goes the leader, Mr. Star. Second place. Coming through about now. There he is, Riley Holmes in second and third place. Coming through, there he is, 609, followed by 455. 750 is there in fifth. So our race leader is just going past the scoreboard then now, 713. Oscar Preston, here he comes, Mr. Starr, in behind Morgan Bailey. There we go, 713. Oscar Preston leads it. Second place about to come up to you now. There's Riley Holmes, third, there he is, 609 Merkin, fourth coming through. There is 750 Parron and the fifth is Lexi Finney. So this is start of very difficult conditions in uh, D, but it's Oscar Preston still leading the way, coming around the scoreboard bend. They've got the head of affairs going quite well out on track. So here comes Oscar, leading the way. There we go, second place. Riley Holmes, it's free next time to start. Riley Holmes then getting closer. So 713 entering the back straight now with three laps to go. Uh, about to get out of sorts, uh, but Riley Holmes is certainly closing the gap, Mr. Starr, down the back straight, as is uh, Linda Merkin closing in as well. So the bumpers go in, and about to get interested in this one, 713 starts to come back towards us. Here he comes, Oscar Preston leading away. Here's second and third, second, Holmes, third, Merkin. Fourth, coming up to you now, is Reese Parrin. So, Preston about to try and get rid of Merkin as uh, cars are all over the place on the back straight. And through we go, Preston still leading, Merkin getting held up. So, goodness me. One or two taking all systems guard now. I think Reese Parrin has come up into third. So, Oscar Preston leads it. Second, now about to come round towards you. So 713, 609, 750, 190, 455. Those are your top five. Preston leads it down the back straight. Merkin has now got clear air. Can he get to it, Mr. Starr? Reese Parrin is also absolutely motoring. So back through we come. This is it, Oscar Preston. And just like that, the lead has totally diminished. There's your front two. And in fact, goodness me, look at this. Merkin has flown past Preston. Down the back straight he goes, Mr. Star. The Owen 609, Merkin the bill. 713, Preston. Leads Parrin about to challenge for second. Nudges uh, Preston out wide. And back through we come. There we go, Merkin takes it. 
Reese Parrott for second, several three, Preston for third, 190. Riley Holmes in the mix as well. And it could be a long, long way back for the rest. It could be Piers, who knows? But uh, the top three, or the top four, in fact, absolutely trouncing the field. And uh, tough conditions. And now on the check of flag flies, there's one or two more still trying to make their way round to complete the allotted laps. Merkin driving a very good race indeed, got held up a couple of times. There we go, Mr. Star. Red's out on the raceway. Red's out on the raceway. Well, uh, very good ending to that one. This is it then, the ladies have been working all year for this one. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the 2023 Lady Banger Gold Roof Championship. Some more star study ladies, oh goodness me, we're off and running, Katie Sanders can't quite find the gear to get the zone and he pretty much splits the field in two, and 713, Lauren and Etz are all ready, Daniel Ellis having to get past Jennings who's come stranded down there on the back straight, Bitson goes wide, and Etz gets on the inside, oh and Wiley goes in! With 1-1-0, one, one, Lightfoot and Emma Mullins, Katie Sanders quickly finds a gear, Laura Quadlin has come from the back of the pack to fifth. Katie Brown's gone round as well, one of the favourites has gone, Quadlin now gets caught up, but Katie Sanders Bringle under the scoreboard bend as well, on the net end, steady as you go, taking the lead and by some distance in a minute. Cody Reeves now runs in the second, the defending champions caught up down there as well, with Kelly Skinner. Andy Brown gets going as well, Jennings is still on, oh, Mullins is coming in, oh goodness me, I thought we were going to cage him in a harder. Lauren X spins out down there underneath the 
Oh, this is, oh my goodness me, it's whoever makes the uh, least amount of mistakes at the minute as Bitson collects the wall down there as well. And goodness me, Cody Reeves heads back to the front, spins out Bitson, Laura Quadlin coming through for second. That was my tip before the big race. Charlotte uh, Coonan pushing on for third. Laura Nets gets back in. Amy Emily Taylor. And look at that. Shannon Woods from the back of the pack has come through. And change in the foot. 4 9. Laura Quadlin leads away. So Quadlin leads it. Mossop. Oh, goodness me. So number one, he backs out. Then takes Cody Reeves with her. Charlotte Coon gets caught up as well. So back through we go. Laura Quadlin leads it. Mossop. 488 Cody Reeves for second. Here comes third. 4 1, uh, 7 1 3. Lauren Ets, then Emily Taylor working her way into it. Shannon Woods up there into fifth. And he's still trying to get going. Daniel Ellis has uh, now got some clear air. And, uh, she'll have some work to do, but you wouldn't be surprised, would you? Still very much in the early stages of this one as Laura Godlin. Comes back through to complete another lap. 488 Cody Reeves for second. Lauren next there for third. Emily Taylor now in fourth. Shannon Woods for fifth. Sixth place, Nichols, 473 all. So after a while, that sounds terrible to track it all over the place. Oh, it's 1-1-0! One, one, Oh, goodness me, Lightfoot getting in on the back and takes them both in. As Danielle Ellis about to get taken around 1-100 one, one in the mornings when she was about to be making forward moves. But now she'll find herself a lap down to 419 Quadders. So Quadders leads it. She's a lap ahead of the defending champion, 488 Cody Reeves. Sits there in second place, 713. Laura next for third, fourth, Emily Taylor. Fifth is Shannon Woods. Sixth is uh, Amy Steele, I believe, now. But goodness me, they've got some work to do, haven't they? 419, Laura Quadlin, it all seems to be happening in slow motion. But it doesn't matter when you're uh, Laura Quadlin and the head of affairs. Cody Reeves trying to get going. But every time she puts a bit of power down, that car finds himself all over Mullins again, throwing herself into the corner as Cody Reeves tags the stricken 1 1 0. Danielle Ellis could do well with uh, trying to get rid of 4 1 9 if she can catch her to try and get herself back onto the lead lap, but I don't know if it's going to happen or not. 7 1 3 has uh, taken a spin round there, so it's Quadlin absolutely countering at the minute in the lead. 4 8 8. Is Cody Reeves there for second spot? Emily Taylor is there in third. Shannon Woods for fourth. Amy Steele is trying to get involved now as well for a position as Cody Reeves goes. Quadlin goes as well. Quadlin's gone. Cody Reeves has gone. Okay, it's just the moment the defending champion, but she's now in trouble as well. Goodness me. This literally is. Oh, as Emma Mullins is now all over the back of the leader who comes through to make another lap and doesn't lose that much time because everybody else is pirouetting as well so Quadlin leads it Emily Taylor for second and look at this Amy Steele up there for third now Shannon Woods fourth and this really is turned into a battle of who can just keep the car going Daniel Ellis still keeps trying to harness the 4-9 Laura Quadlin leads it and by some distance Emily Taylor now is there in second spot as Brignall gets taken around by our second place driver second, third and fourth are literally there together and now this is going to be interesting isn't it still leads it the side still is in second place in front of Taylor but Quadlin just seems to be in a different level when it comes to these sort of track conditions. And this isn't about experience, this is about how good you are. And Laura Quadlin at the minute really is leading them a merry dance out there on track. So Quadlin leads, Amy still now gets herself into some clear air, let's see what she can do. There's no cars between her and the leader, the only problem is there's half a lap. Emily Taylor on the hunt as well. 
and they really are getting down to the nitty gritty as our defending champion goes round as well. So Quadlin plays it safe, sitting in behind Katie Sanders as 7 1 3. Lowell next takes a trip to the wall down there again. It's free next time, Mr. Sada, free next time, and this is a demolition job from 419 Laura Quadlin. Right, so we've still got 477, Amy still for second place, and back through we come, Mr. Sada. Look at this performance. Amy Still about to be put under pressure from Emily Taylor who gets up sides and sees if she can put a bit of pressure on for second and third as Danielle Ellis uh, tangled and in we go, 4-7-7 goes round and Shannon Woods clips her, hopefully that hasn't too much damage to her chances but it isn't affecting the leader, this is absolutely ridiculous oh goodness me, now then Amy Steele, Laura Quadlin, is it over? It is over! Quadras, what's happening? Back through, Emily Taylor, Mr. Star leads away in the Gold Ruth Championship. So Emily Taylor leading the way. Can Shannon Woods get to her? So it's Emily Taylor leading. Shannon Woods there for second. Your guess is going to mine for third now. I genuinely have no idea. But the only way to stop Quadlin was to do just that. And it has worked because now one lap to go. And Emily Taylor has got the Gold Roof Championship in her sight. 3 1 3. Shannon Woods is second. And the battle is on for third. No idea. No idea who it's between third. Emily Taylor is about to be crowned the Gold Roof Championship. She's got one more band to negotiate. I can almost picture Ben Randall going crazy. As she comes back towards us, please put your hands together for your Gold Roof Champion for 2023. It's Emily Taylor. What a race. And it may not have been pretty all the time. There may have been plenty going on, she finishes with a crash. And we may have uh, had a long time leader stop to us half a lap ahead. But this is championship racing. And we have just crowned the next Lady Banger Gold Roo Championship. Oh, goodness me, Lord, and that goes in down there. What a race, really exciting stuff. There we go, Mr. Starter. Reds out on the raceway. Reds out on the raceway. Third place then in our Lady Banger Gold Reef Championship. What a drive. She did well to come back, didn't she? Please put your hands together in third place. It's number 10, Charlotte Coote. Well done. Congratulations. Uh, really difficult conditions. But I have to say, what a magnificent race. And, and to come back in. There was so much going on. I think everyone spun out at least once. It's not easy to get back into a rhythm after that, but you were, you were charging towards the end. I must admit, I do like the wet. 
must little donut, but hey, we go yeah. with it. Yeah, well, this is it, absolutely right. Listen, you said you would be happy to finish. You've got yourself on the podium. Can't be bad. One better than last year, fourth last year, and yeah. I could not have told you how annoyed I was. So yeah. third this year, I'm really pleased. Mate, go and get yourselves on your third place, Ross, from there. Second place, then, from the back of the grid. And to be fair to her, she worked her way into it very, very quickly. She's proving that she certainly can drive, that is for sure. And uh, here she comes, 313, Shannon Woods. Well done, mate. Congratulations. Well done. Uh, listen, sometimes you don't really believe in yourself all that much, but from the offset there, I said you could be quite dangerous from the back of the grid, and you worked your way into the top five literally within the first two laps. Yeah, I kind of just picked and chose, and everybody kept spinning, and it was a... Uh Oh no, they're coming towards me, close your eyes and please try and get past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was one of them, wasn't it? You know, there was a lot of people spinning out. But you kept plotting your way through, mate. Uh, credit to you. Getting up into second, there's a lot more experienced drivers out there than yourself. And you held your own, you got your head down and just kept going. Yeah, and I, uh, I clipped Amy, so I have to apologise to Matt and Brent. I have popped a Rain Sport 5. You've so done what? I've popped a Rain Sport 5. Yeah, I know how expensive they are, mate. You're in big trouble crying inside <laughs> you will be where are they i think they're over there somewhere possibly i mean i can see matt with his head in his hands yeah there he is oh dear matt oh god but i know i, I don't know hey she got a second that's all right isn't it yeah, no matt's no right oh god right anyway go and get yourself one second well done mate and taking the victory and taking the golden harness home tonight with a sponsored by uh, Gary Shaw and his fantastic business, GNM Banger Bits, out there. We've got the Golden Harness and your new 2023 Gold Roof Champion in the Unlimited Lady Bangers. It's 469, Emily Taylor. Well done, mate. Listen, I don't know whether it's catching on because with Ben in championship races, he manages to turn it on. I don't know if he's passed that bit of magic on to you because you drove an absolute blinder there. I don't really know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I had mud in my eyes, I couldn't see. I was just trying to not spin it out. Yeah, and that was very, very difficult to do. You know, coming off after, coming on after a rain shower, not easy, but, you know, to start, everyone was getting tangled up. You managed to plot a way through and you were at the front of affairs for a long time, a long way down behind Laura Quadlin. Then she got caught with Amy. And to be honest with you, you must have been thinking, just get there. I'm just speechless, really. I don't know what to say, but there is one person I can't say. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I know. And it, it'll be absolutely over the moon for you. I'm, I know it will be. So you've done a, an incredible feat tonight. Just so happy. Yeah. You get to wear the gold for the next 12 months as well. Well, I dropped down to I was happy. Now I can't. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think better be too pleased with a bill for the gold roof. I mean, I'm going to ask to get it painted again. Yeah. <laughs> He's over there somewhere. Yeah, yeah sorry, Ben. Uh, listen, you'll be over the moon. And I'm allowed to race next year. That's right, absolutely. Absolutely right. I remember that conversation. Right, go on, mate. Get yourself on board. you got your golden harness as well. Right, super. We've got pictures being taken down there, and then we'll get our top three round towards us the lady banger gold roof championship for 2023 goes the way of a fantastic drive from a great young lady put your hands together for 469 it's emily taylor
18 through 2 and 4. Connor Osborne, look at that! Sir Carl Douglas eating in to the field already as uh, Jordan come in. And uh, interesting stuff down there as uh, we lose. 1 2 6, Dan Bowley down there as well. No problems down here. For 8 2 9, Jay Sharp has uh, came short. Oh, Wally Marsh then gets put. So, Wally Marsh stranded down there. Osborne. Osborne then uh, goes out as well as we uh, continue to roll on with this one then as we get back to the head of affairs. There's 570 Jordan Cumming gets out wide down there, but it's 440 Pink McVay leading away from Tolly Arch. <laughs> oh, and a uh, big cheer from our uh, <laughs> Pedro then 440 the Scotsman leading away. Uh, Tolly Arch there for second, Tank Shaw third, Andrew Ship. He's battling on, James Licorice giving him a to go out, Toddy Archer then coming back up the inside and quite a racy affair in the early stages of this one, the reset for the world qualifiers, as Kieran Bowman gets past the former World of Shower champion uh, Jordan Sharp who limps along down the back, oh goodness me, here we go down there then, and uh, that is 570 Jordan Cumming who absolutely levers in down there onto the back of uh, Daniel Jordan who's got in on the running mate Riley Marsh, so coming in protecting the young Davidson. But back to the front, 440, Peter McVay, the Scotsman. Living it up out in front here, and he's about to go past Jordan Cumming, our former Tillian Bayer world champion. Gets up the inside of him, Jordan Cumming then. Not quite running right about that car at the minute, then he's uh, really struggling out there as Pedro gets up the inside. Jordan Cumming on the back of him, Andrew Ship goes through into second spot as Jordan come in and uh, runs into issues as does Jordan Sharp down there not quite sure the situation is there Jordan Sharp then looks set to uh, have a go at turning it around as Jordan coming the tires to the infield but uh, Pedro leads the way Jordan Sharp then edges his way out and uh, surely not surely not not Pedro no Jordan Oh, 828 then stops the Scotsman. Poor old Pedro, who was leading the way. A uh, couple of disappointed faces up here. It's a Pedro out in the race. Uh, as uh, we continue to roll on with uh, Andy Ship now leading the way. Andy Ship from 51 Licorice, 466 Steve Hack Hackett. Of course, oh, and a big blow up down there on poor old Pedro, who continues to take some punishment. Oh, Licorice goes firing in as well. Oh, and everyone's favourite Scotsman getting absolutely obliterated down there. Oh, and in we go, John Cabal goes in as well on uh, Callum McKee. Through next time then, Mr. Sire, for runaway leader, 1-2-8. Uh, Andy Ship, Callum McKee on opposite now down there, as uh, Connor Osborne is also lurking down here as well. So, keep your eyes peeled, people. Could be interesting to see how this one pans out. Right, uh, Blackbeck's... Carl Douglas over on the far side, Callum McKee backs up to let him through, very gentlemanly for him there, as Connor Osborne comes in and attacks Brad O, Brad Bartram, so Osborne then making his move as uh, now Tommy Archer looks set to have a go, Callum McKee realises that maybe there isn't anyone to uh, go for the pulls off from the raceway, so uh, who's that over there, Matt Bell getting all out sorts down there, as Kira Bowman then uh, attacks him, tries to side swipe, Matt Bartram then gets back in, here we go, Connor Osborne moves in as well, tries to get Ashley Garrett but misses, and now Tommy Archer who's edging backwards and forwards, is he going to get through and out of the pack, Tommy Archer still sits there, keep an eye on what he's doing, and Callum McKean rolling through, anyway, back towards us on the back straight, uh, long time leader now, Andy Ship, he's uh, absolutely flying around as Hackett uh, gets pushed wide by Jamie Bryvin for the uh, battle for second and third as Osborne comes round again and uh, Bowman goes round the outside, Osborne misses again and uh, through we come, race win then, congratulations goes to Andrew Ship. So certainly 
Pierce going on as Osborne backs up again. Callum McKee. Uh, oh, and Osborne does uh, get hold of 5 5 2. Carl Douglas, in fact, uh, well, Carl does the reasonable thing there. Reds, please, Mr. Sano. Reds, please, on the raceway. Well, there we go. Congratulations going to our winner. 1 2 8 Championship, which starts the world qualifying campaign very well indeed. Being honest with you, 
runs away and God bless the star, hasn't he? Absolutely flying out in front of his young Josh. Great to see on his debut night here. And Shane Lee Merkin is certainly having a go at this one. So Hunter tries to pick a line. To the inside, 6-1-0. Bain Jr. is uh, circulating very slowly down there. Could prove a problem for one or two. It certainly is a, an obstacle. That is for sure. Hans and Merkin though, absolutely rapid, isn't he? Interesting stuff from 270. Not seen this sort of form from him before. As we come through, Hansa leads it, and he's, look at that, that is absolutely ridiculous for 270 Merkin. Interesting stuff to see as Hansa about to be wiped out, but Hansa then gets back involved. Will he do enough to get onto the back? No, he won't. Shaney Merkin coming through. Uh, there we go, check a flag at the ready as Hansa now gets, well, Baldry comes through. Oh, Macy gets up to third, and that is a massive shame for Josh Hunter who misses out on the top three as the rest of the top ten fly past him down there. That is truly gutted for young Josh Hunter. A really good report from him. There's uh, the aftermath third uh, part of 707. It's uh, involved down there as well. I mean, for the games between themselves. And there we go, then, Mr. Starr. It's red flags at the ready. Red flags at the ready. Race win then goes to Shaney Murphy. Look at him, look, absolutely flying his old Nibsy. Been out of sorts. You know, he's straight, but he continues to ride on. There's Reggie Turnbull in Hunt. Alfie Lee is there as well. Alfie Lee, Alfie Hill. Right, back towards us. We go up the inside. It's George Hill, I beg your pardon. George Hill, 395, 19, Reggie Turnbull. Ryan Nibsen goes in with a bumper on Turnbull gets it aside but certainly delays himself in the hunt for Hill. Right, uh, turnaround time then for Connor Osborne down there. We'll see who his target is going to be. He starts to look forward. No, George back in, thinks better of it. And there's uh, Ben Waddingham who is on the back. Oh, into the fence we go for Gav Taylor and Ben Waddingham gets spat out of the pack onto the middle. Ryan Nibs continues his hunt for George Hill and sets off he does. As, uh, right, we continue to roll on. Ryan, oh, Ryan Nibs, no, Nibsy, no. As, uh, oh, he tries to challenge. Hill clips a tie up to the middle. He goes. At times, it's easier to just be that little bit patient. Good shot uh, down there as uh, he goes firing in. As when, oh, that's a huge shot in behind. And Hill gets blown up by one of the blue and black boys. So we continue. Reds. Reds, please. Reds, please. On the raceway. Reds, please. On the raceway. Reggie 
Turnbull then uh, leads the way. Force of on Joel Allen now comes through second as Tony Pallet gets spat out the pack. Quincy Infield, Warren Lowndes, a ridiculously quick start, did not help at all then. As he, uh, three next time, this is the start of three next time for our race leader, Reggie Turnbull. Can he uh, finally get his hands on the victory that he's been looking for? Second place, Joel Allen, third, Brett Jackson, two very experienced 1500 drivers. And then we've got Jamie Blythe, who's been in good form tonight, already had a second in the two year bangers. In the textbook, last bend blue. He looks like he's gearing himself up for number one, doesn't it, Mr. Spar? As uh, we head our way down the back straight, Richard Turnbull. Now with Brett Jackson off in pursuit, going very well out on the race right is Brett. And he's hunting Reggie Turnbull down as we uh, come through once again then. With ben Cox has uh, decided he might turn it around, but we'll see. As Reggie Turnbull now in strike conditions for Brett Jackson, who now looks to... Uh, have the pressure on as we come through one lap board out on the right side Simon Smith and that absentee as the blue and black boys start to slow up for uh, 19 Reggie Turnbull oh goodness me Joel Allen rattles 2 for a Jamie Blythe and here we go Brett Jackson comes in for the last bend lunge can't make it stick well done Reggie Turnbull then comes out the other side check and play already 19 Reggie Turnbull wins it 5-5-1 five, five, Brett Jackson comes in the second, and goodness me, uh, wow, 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 Jamie Blyden getting absolutely put away down there by uh, Joel Allen, that was a monster, a monster, oh, it's uh, kind of off board, no, uh, can't make that stick, Jamie Blyden is on opposite down there, he's uh, trying to get himself sorted out, uh, Reds please, Mr. Starter, Reds please, Mr. Starter, congratulations then, go to number 19, Reggie Turnbull won the uh, victory. Skinner leads the way. Charlotte Ward, Charlotte Cook will be the part of second place. 3 1 3. Shannon Woods there for third. So, uh, none of our things and drivers for Black Crosses fill in the top three. Uh, the fourth, however, is Laura Crockett in the fourth. Uh, she's blue grade, right? I think, the part of the four when I run into the roof. There, that's pretty off. Uh, oh dear. Right, uh, Gold Roof, Emily Taylor. Uh, Becky Vincent spat out the pack as well. Continue to ride on, and it's Kelly Skinner from the right. He's going very nicely out the race. So Charlotte Wood in second. Shannon Wood's third. Or probably now piling under pressure to Shannon. Puts the bumper in. Down there. Chloe Grindle will go for it as well. Or probably gets to the inside of Shannon Woods. 
next up in line will be Charlotte Coote. <laughs> Apologies for the last of our last score, the Ox is just... I'm not sure if he's fell off his chair or not. But, uh, right, Kelly Skinner heads to the end of the first, forward by Laura Potter. Now give it chase, oh, gets a bit of a tag on Kelly Skinner, and now goes all the way through. Oh, Samantha Wilde goes spinning once again. Laura Potter goes absolutely flying. Reds, please, Mr. Star. Reds, please. I think we've got Reds in safety because uh, Emily Taylor. Laura Quadlin then uh, leads the way with this one, a perfect lead start from Laura Kelly Skinner. <laughs> uh, Charlotte Coote, there in third, Charlotte Woods. Football, oh, Charlotte then getting all that sorts and maybe has given Charlotte a little bit of help. Oh, so after a while and uh, Stacey Light picked it to the line then to, to provide a bit of action and they certainly have been in that one all. And now the far end, Sophie Tippo going on the back of uh, the end there. She had a bit of a quiet. Oh, dearie me, the rolling roadblock for Heath Jennings then. Oh, it's caught one out, Charlotte Coote. But Laura Conlin off and running in this one. Kelly Skinner holding her own. Let's see. Daniel Ellis, Becca Vincent, and Shannon Woods, Sophie Titlow, but all coming up the inside of number 10, Charlotte Coote. And uh, here comes Stacey Light, around the outside. Laura Conlin picks the outside as well. So after a while is uh, going from down there as well. She'll take half the ball with her. Kelly Skinner. Around the outside, Becca Bitson gets on the inside, driving really well, but now she's uh, all in sorts down there. Daniel Ellis trying her very best to get there, but it's not quite clicking. There to see the big punt then. That time wide was, oh, Kelly Skinner finally comes to grips and after a while we'll get going again to do some more hassle here. This one it's good to see. We're all calling though, the uh, lead just continues to be extended. It's three next time, Mr. Sada. So, Potters comes back round towards us, Becca Vincent for second, Daniel Ellis for third, and it's uh, a long way back to Shannon Goods, Kelly Skinner, Charlotte Coote, Chloe Britton, all the the while still going, as Sophie Titlow goes round down there, now uh, Laura Podlin uh, down the back straight, going very, very well indeed, Jennings holding up in the second place, driving up to Becca Vincent, and Daniel Ellis will try her best now to get on terms, but it just doesn't manage to make it sting at all so Laura Collin this is a masterpiece as Vincent goes round her oh goodness me and she knew what was going on there tags the back end of Daniel Ellis but Daniel escapes Vincent and now here we go oh goodness me what's going on down there uh, right Collins then uh, leads the way Daniel Ellis now gets some clear air and starts to show what she can do in the banana Becca Vincent Shan Woods Charlotte Coote so we're inside the last lap and uh, there's no stopping Laura Quadlin is there as uh, she goes down the back straight oh I'm in a speed pitch run runs out of room on the inside of Jennings and now there is a battle on third but it doesn't even hold Bitson anymore Shannon Woods might get her uh, second top three of the night but Charlotte Cook's doing everything she's going Paulus wins it so Laura Quadlin wins it then 85 the outgoing Gold Roof champion Daniel Ellis second and Charlotte Coote gets herself up for third. Charlotte Woods comes across and fall for a bit of damage. And then we have to go a long, long way back. In fact, the rest aren't even on the lead lap. That's how good a performance that was. Goodness me. There we go, Mr. Stardo. We'll go Reds on the raceway. Reds on the raceway. A stellar performance from our stellar Lady Mario driver.
come down there. But the green flag has dropped and away we go. Callum McKeegan heads to the front of the first. 701 Wiley Marshall. We've had a casualty early doors in that one. It could be. Uh, yeah, Luke Rawlins. Massive shame. There's a driver who certainly will fancy his chance in the points this year. 214. Connor Osborne is out of the running. Billy Taylor comes to a standstill. Tommy Archer is wiped out as well down there. And uh, once again, we get through the front of the first. 7 0. Oh, and in we go. Hackett uh, get tagged on to the back, didn't he? And that was Tom Jennings in the mix of that. But Dan Jordan puts the pressure on again. As Dino Jr., Jordan Cummins, uh, has another go at this one. Crossy's uh, on the middle now as well. And, Jordan and Connor Osborne. Oh, big time down there. Clip off to the tyre, oh, Osborne then, looking to rejoin this one once again. Right then, we'll get back to the head of affairs. It's an uh, 8 stretch, Hatton's 5 Carl Douglas to get past him further down the pack. Oh, 1-2-6, Dan Bowley, uh, struggling uh, around there, but it's Riley Marsh at the head of affairs, going very well. Brad Bartram goes round, 5-5-2, Carl Douglas goes in with him, Brad Bartram then gets back going again, Jordan Sharp running away from the scene in that one as well. Right, Matt Armstrong with a few cars in behind, Matt Bell put pressure on the 118 case of Shaw and that's 296. Tom Jennings is the next one. Oh, it's running the scene there, Matt Bell puts on uh, Matt Armstrong and 118 case of Shaw. Kane Shaw takes the brunt of that one as he heads into the fence. So, we get back to it, and here we go. The battle for the lead at the front is the start of 7.01. Riley Marsh leads away, but Carl Douglas is certainly not helping the situation with Carl off the race right now, and Riley Marsh continues in good spirits here. So Connor Osborne has now turned it around down there, so we'll see what Connor has got up his sleeve in this one. Riley Marsh then about to be hustled. Oh, and uh, Connor Osborne stops Troy Collin down there. So Troy then stopped on the nose by 214 Connor Osborne. So Connor backs off and he's ready to do it all again, is he? As Billy Taylor now rejoins the scene down there. 687 Crossy was trying to give it a go, but couldn't miss a good battle for the lead. 701 Riley Marsh and uh, Connor McKee nearly, nearly. Oh, Tony Archer! It's absolutely by the smithereens, but I'm not sure Andy Ship really uh, wanted to do that, but he didn't have much choice. And uh, Tony Archer then stranded, driver side up into the straight. Free to go next time then, Mr. Starter, free to go next time. Oh dear. The Reds please, Reds please, Reds please on the raceway. Reds please on the raceway. And racing, and once again, Callum McKee, uh, Riley Marsh is all over in his second. Dan Bowley, free to go then, Mr. Starter, free to go as uh, Riley Marsh moves in on Callum McKee down there. The battle is on, actually, going in, trying to get himself up into third. But Launcher attacking this one. I'm sure he's uh, in a position of major go as Riley Marsh gets up inside of Callum McKee, and I think with that one move, he has done himself enough to, to get the job done. Colin McKinney clatters the wall once again. Going down there, oh, it's Kate Shaw then puts on Matt Armstrong. Ashley Garrett then goes down the outside. Oh, Riley Marsh then was uh, a little out of source. Colin Osborne has turned it around down there. Riley Marsh uh, continues on then. Colin Osborne is still there. Right, Riley Marsh. Here we go. Going back towards us once again. Connor Osborne still working. And here comes Connor Osborne. He's going for Ashley Garrett and misses. Right, one to go then. Riley Marsh leading the way. Riley uh, certainly not for catching in this one. Here we go. Right, this is it, the big one. Riley Marsh and coming back towards us. Connor Osborne. Gets his man in the end, Riley Marsh wins on his debut in the National Bangers. And uh, great stuff then for young Riley. 
Ashley Garrett is going to retaliate and here we go on Conor Osborne. Conor Osborne may have been an off-mortally for Chewy Garrett comes through. helped our leader out to be honest right here we go we're off and running <laughs> we're up with uh, no video no we're off uh, 713 Oscar Preston oh look at this uh, 707 Nottingham under pressure from Lexi Finney and in fact uh, Riley Holmes, great uh, work there from him, but we're going to have to take advantage of coming inside 707. Well, we've now got a stranded uh, McBain Junior car down there, so they're all circulating around the outside of that one. Levi Merkin is now making his way through, but Preston, fair play to the old boy, still uh, out there at the head of affairs, although nearly that's the end of the end as Riley Holmes uh, now to the all three of Preston. Here we go, squeezing away. But Preston, that helps him out of 787 Nottingham and Lexi Finney now giving chase. Riley Holmes settles back into fourth on Archie Spears and Levi Merkin. So the six of these, and yet he's still lurking. Rhys Parrott now about to join as well. Callum Gould not too far off the back. Right, back markers are now starting to approach him now. Oscar Preston by Hooper by Crook is still leading the way, not for long, as uh, now he goes round to the outside and uh, now down to fourth. As, uh, oh! Parry gets to the Merkin all of a sudden. He's hit because of free. Carl Rates 
Free this time, Mr. Star. I beg your pardon, free this time. Felixi Finney, 707. Nottingham there in second, and uh, Ronnie Holmes. But oh, the back mark! Oh, dear me, Lord Hudson has literally cost Riley Holmes there very dearly indeed. So we continue to motor on, and uh, Lexi Finney out there in front, 707 out from Nottingham for second, 190 Riley Holmes third, 711 Hudson gets back out of the pack as Archie Spears is there in fourth, fifth, Reece Parrott is trying to get up the inside, and there we go, Lincoln Douglas is also trying to get back in there, Oscar Preston has gathered himself to get himself back into a steady top ten, but it's uh, Lexi Finney who certainly now seems to be finding some form on the shower, but there's literally one car way through on that roadside turn. Oh, as uh, Archie forward. Oh, back to that, and that stopped Archie Spears in his tracks, and that prevents his own issues. Right. Oh, Finney! Yo, oh, Finney just about holds on for the 7079, but it's all done on the roadside turn. Oh, goodness me! As Nyman goes in, crashes out in style. And Lexi Finney goes on to take the final here. Well done to her. And the rest of the cars are filtering through. And there we go, it's the start of Reds on the raceway. Reds on the raceway. Right, we'll get our race winner round towards us with uh, second and third as well and what was a very eventful final for our junior backers. David Lokes there going really well in fourth place. And pressure continues to mount. Push comes to shove for one or two as Phil Smith then slows up down there. Oh, Tom Wright gets it all wrong. I'm not sure who was trying to have a pop at him or not. But Sam Smith then goes round. Oh, and in we go then. It's 227. Gov Taylor clatters into it. And we uh, roll on then. With Fearless Phil leading the way, 27, Danny McMullen, David Lopes, there in third, Jamie Blyden, he's going for it. In fourth, oh, but Ben Waddingham decides to have a swipe at him. And Ben Waddingham moves through, Dan Dixon then coming to go, and here comes Ben Cox now getting uh, into it. They're not going to get into the top three, are they? I don't think. Oh, it's David Cox. There goes motoring in down there. So David Cox then goes in and uh, one or two, Ben Wanningham then just hits Gareth Taylor and comes to a, 
a grinding halt down there. Jordan Sharp continues on. Ryan Nibs goes through, but it's got Molyneux leads it. 5.50 kill as well. I think we've got a puncture. And then David Lopes is there in second spot now. But Nibs has come through for fourth. And uh, back towards us. We come, Dunn McMullen, free to go then, Mr. Starter, free next time, as Tom Wright comes out for the head on, who's he going for? This is Ryan Nibs. So, we know his target is Nibs, but Mullen goes outside, David Lowe's inside, who's picking the right line? Mullen has driven a faultless race so far, Ben Waddington is also now starting to edge battles and forwards, and here comes, no, Tom Wright hasn't decided to go for it, quite just yet, but uh, Ben Waddington might. Tom Wright back to back. And uh, Brad Bartram gets the inside of 551 with Brett Jackson. So round we go, still leading the way then, 27. McMullen going well, Tom Wright comes out again. So righty, who's going to go for this time? It is Nibs again, this is again. Two for two. So David Lowe's really has reduced the lead now, and this is it. Winding down to the nitty gritty, Lopesy, Nibs decides that he doesn't want to fancy the third time looking, or does he? No, he slumped on the brakes. Really not quite sure what, what that, what he's done there. And Nibs is uh, running him then, edges out. Last lap board has been produced. Here come the couple of checkers, but Mullen takes it. Good to see. 83 Lopesy there for second. Nibs. God knows what he's up to. His right is still an oppo down there, Ben Waddingham as well. Keep an eye out as to who is going to do what. And here comes Wrighty. And another miss from Tom Wright. So through the cup, Waddingham is there. We'll bring the yellows out now. Mr. Sartre will bring the yellows out onto the raceway. So here we go then, this is a chance to get any driver off from the race who doesn't want to do it and everyone who does, out for the destruction dart. So, Jordan Sharp continues on, then Waddingham goes to the infield, and 83, David Lowe's. Right, here we go, then Waddingham has joined in, so, yeah, good field of cars for our destruction darling. So, let's see what is going to be uh, put on show. Four then, first move made by 48 near Cashbridge. Dunn bits and then start moving. Tom Wright on the middle already. Don't want to see that too too often on the middle for him. Then Monningham spat out the pack to all four for Osborne. Here we go, Lopesy then goes uh, ranging in on Dunn bits and continue to roll on through there. Jordan Sharp then gets back. In the action, oh, we continue front march of it. Oh, and uh, that is Callum Bart who uh, gets that all farther along. Jordan Sharp sets off in pursuit of six and a half Oh, here we go then. Bartram in the back of seven. Dan Bitson. A lot of uh, two six seven Tom Wright. A bit of double diving from him here. Two five seven Ben Wellington motors on. 69, Brad Bartram with a thunderous shot there. So Bartram continues on. Connor Osborne is still there. One of them trying to get a bit of speed up. And the number Ben Cox has come out of nowhere. Ben Cox goes round. 2 1 4 Osborne. So Osborne meets number 7. Dan Bitson on the nose down there, Bartram goes in again, he really has been entertaining this destruction dart tumble, and here comes Jordan Sharp, Sharp in the back, so Sharp he blows up, Ram Bartram on, Tom Wright, goodness me, what is he going on, so Tom Wright then joins uh, the field, Ben Monaghan stuck down there, and here comes Tom Wright for a, a shot on Bitson the bill, then Cox continues to roll round. And now Jordan 267 goes in for the shot on Osborne. 
now we are down to three. So Jordan Sharp, Ben Cox, and Wright. So Jordan Sharp goes through Dan Bitson down there, so he's here comes Ben Cox, this could be a big one. It is, good shot from Ben Cox. Down there on Jordan Sharp, who may have expired. Here comes Wrighty, Wrighty goes in. Jordan Sharp now struggling again, on the straight. Then Waddingham edging backwards and forwards. And we're down to two, Cox and Wright. Oh, goodness me, Wright goes in on Jordan Sharp. So Wright, who looks uh, a bit worse for wear. We've got Ben Cox and... Right, now Cox goes in on Sharp. Surely the idea would be to attack the Trevor boys. As Wright finally comes in and deals with Ben Cox. Right, Callum Barton now decides that it's time to strike up the band. And he now... Oh, that's a solid head-on. Him and Ben Cox. It's all gone a little bit quiet out there. Apart from one. Ben Cox backs off. Tries to get in first and does. Moves in again on Cameron Barton. Right, ready to check it then, there we go, uh, DD over and done with, right, we'll get that confirmed to you very shortly, along with our final victory, which went away at number 27, Danny McMullen. Annette goes in again on the Granada and now it's uh, push comes to shove time oh Annette is doing everything she can and does actually ruin it for 85 and it's a Sophie Timo now comes in Annette's on the back of Cody Sanders and then Lauren Annette is causing absolute carnage out there as Jenny Dragons involved now she's on the back of the Granada 
Oh, and that's now gets hold of Colin Pringle. Oh, superb. What an entertainer. Oh, and it's there. Uh, she's now over there, the, the front leg on that one. Rather side, well and truly uh, finished. And she could now be in a spot of honour as uh, Lightfoot again comes to blows down there. Round we go. Push comes to shove for 6 2 6. Sanders. She goes by the wayside. Coop for second, Ellis for third, and this is it. Oh, good shot from Skinner on Lorna Nets. Well done, girls, well done. Some up for a while, we've been getting involved as well. Gold Ruth Knight laying their hair down and having some fun. As now Daniel Ellis is on the back of Jennings. Sophie Titlow leads the way. <laughs> Charlotte King there for second. Danielle Ellis for third. Oh, keeps up the way at the time. Paul is as well. Maggie's laughing her head off. The ladies. Oh, and Tom Wally gets pushed out wide there by Lord Cobbin. Cobbin and uh, Cody Sanders. Goes on it's Sophie Titlow who leads the way. Charlotte Coop there for second. Danielle Ellis. Pilot the banana out nicely, she's there in third. And Kelly Skinner. And he's trying to deal with her, but can and then gets back at the inside. Free to go next time, Mr. Starter, free to go next time. For our leader, Sophie Titlow, flying round the raceway. Second place, Charlotte Coop going nicely out there. Daniel is still. Can she? the second place but I think Sophie Titlow is away and gone so Sophie going well Charlotte Coop the second Daniela is uh, doing her best in third to try and get hold of the second place driver oh Skinner comes round oh Sophie Titlow then clashes the wall but she still leads Mr Starter I think she uh, won't be going as quick as she had. Charlotte Coop, Danielle is looking for the inside line. Oh, Titlow, yes, we thought the issue was with the steering arm. Oh, right, OK, wave yellows then, Mr. Starter, wave yellows. As Ellis was just about hit the front. So this is going to bring the whole field back round. Running brings out on the raceway. Uh, Kelly Skinner. Right, they're going to uh, be joining back in for some fun on 7 all 3 Laura Nance. No, nope, not that time. Right. So Daniela is about to make a, a charge at it. Inside. Oh, oh, I tell you what, Michael may have heard it for herself, Charlotte. Coop then, still there. Becca Bitson, trying to get the inside, or a problem is there in third. Here we go. And it's then uh, trying her best to make it stick. And it isn't going to work. Coop wins it. Good finish though, Ellis very close for second. Quite a back there in third. And here we go, is Skinner going to come in? She is! Hey! There we go, well done ladies. There we go, the Mr. Starter Reds out on the raceway. Reds out on the raceway, our last winner of the night. Good night for number 10, Charlotte Peebles.
226 Dan Bowley it is who leads away Callum McKee barges spears wide in 4 number 7 now Lickers gets on the back of him Wiley Marsh uh, trying to work his way through the field 607 Crossley on the back of that 28 Matt Bell dives with the inside of Tom Jennings to start his pursuit on the head of affairs and actually Garrett all over the back of Paul Osborne already and takes him all the way in and uh, that will be revenge from the previous race but he stays on the back of him and Ashley Garrett so he's not finished yet oh and that was a textbook from Ashley Garrett in that one and he certainly didn't forget did he yeah and Perry's on on the Osborne he's uh, sorted himself out and got to the middle I think actually Garrett would have certainly going again but he pulls him way off to the middle actually the go is he Let's see what comes in this one right is actually going to give us a spin all right back to the we go the team are talking to spin in out goes Tom Jennings spat out by Jack Riley so he to roll on Callum McKee leads it and it's 126 Dan Bowley 701 Riley Marsh Callum McKee killed a, a bit of a lead now as Jack Spears gets spat round by 51 James Ligerish and uh, gets going again for bold passed by 552 Carl Douglas Jamie Blyman up a good one round as well 57 passed with the Spears car and uh, Jordan Sharp smoking off and Dylan continues to roll round but Callum McKee continues to pile on the pressure here and you can't really see unless he gets stopped what else winning this the battle's on for second though so Riley Mars tries to get the hand of Dan Bowley so Bowley being hassled by Riley Mars oh Geno then all out of sorts there as the back end is certainly giving him some stick in that one Bowley gets up the inside while he tries to put the pressure on Tom Jennings trying his best getting away at that Geno continues on ooh Jennings really uh, struggling to keep that car controlled you know, decides that the best form of attack needs to be to go oh and in we go then oh Carl Douglas hassling 8 to 8 Jordan Sharp can't make it stick John Cabold gets involved three next time Mr. Starter three next time for Callum McKee absolutely fine man good battle between this lot as Jamie Blyman goes round down there Carl Douglas gets to the front of that very good group of drivers so through we go Callum McKee leading the way Riley Marsh Dan Bowley yeah, down the back straight Hobbit Hassan Brad Bartram Jordan Sharp in the middle of it all he's a lap down as far as so Jordan Cummings is trying his best Luke Rawlings gets turned round in that one oh, Tom Jennings then oh, and he comes now I'm trying to have another go but Callum McKee way out in front uh, James Lickerish gets turned round oh and uh, Jeno on the Breaks in front of Riley Marsh trying to help his running mate Dan Bowley out for a second place finish and uh, look at that, that's teamwork right there as now Geno continues to hustle and now get in front of Mac Bell so Callum McKee is going to win this there he goes, Callum takes it Important final points for him and Dan Bowley comes through, Matt Bell. Gino's done his bit for the team. Wally Marsh next. Blake, uh, Carl Douglas, uh, good fifth place finish for him. And the stretch followed him over line to Bowles. Rawlins, Cobbett, Bartram. Dino Jr., Spears, Smith, Bowman. Yellows please, Mr. Star. Yellows please. Oh, the ball goes in. Riley Marsh down there. Right, Jennings has come down as well. So we've got Carl Douglas. So all of a sudden, we've got seven of them. No one's uh, touched anything yet. Sharp, about to be hassled by 51 James Lickerish. 
Licorice goes through. Mark Douglas is there. Johnny Cabold. Six and a half by Marshall Bright. Sharp slows up. Douglas goes in. Right, so Jordan Sharp turns it around. Oh, that was huge! 5-5-2, five, five, Carl Douglas! So there we go, that was superb from Carl Douglas because all of a sudden there wasn't a lot happening. An 8-8, eight eight, Carl Douglas got involved, Licorice goes in, and so does Cabold. And now Spears, Spears is on the back of Bartram. Right, here we go, as Cabal now homes in on 69, Brad Bartram. Right, here we go then, and then number three, Brad Bartram then uh, gets onto the infield. And uh, trying to get away from John Cabal there. Quite the way we like to do it, but uh, hey ho. As Cabal then continues on, 477 Spears. Bartram rejoined the other end. So, pick your winner. Just to see who's going to come out on top of this as Spears holds in on John Cabal. Right, Spears. Uh, Spins round John Cabold in 3.70, so Wacko carries on. So Wacko slams on the brakes and in comes Cabold. So the two of them really uh, going for it down there. Bartram then uh, carries on. Jack Spears waits for Bartram to go past and then pulls. Back on. Oh, Bartram goes in hard on the uh, Cabold car. That really could be. Lights out for both of them. And Wacko could be set for a DD victory here. Here we go. Wacko comes in. Oh, there's a big shot over the front wheel of Bart right Bartram. That could be, no, Wacko gets himself sorted out. Jack Spears backs off and still moves. Cabold, the engine is running, you can see it. So Spears carries on. But that could be all she wrote. So here we go then. Jack Spears, how is he going to line up as the countdown continues to the red and checkered? But he rolls through, and there we go, then red and checkered on the raceway. Congratulations, go to Jack Spears on winning the Destruction Derby, and brilliant stuff there. And we'll get Callum McKee, and now second and third round for trophy presentation.